everyone, Jenny Craft, Facilitator of Technology Integration and Coaching. Today we are going to look at a really exciting change that has recently happened, and that is Canva integration with Schoology. So if you haven't used Canva before, I'm pretty sure we've featured it in the past, but Canva is a platform that really allows you to be very creative um, in your design of different things that you may um, want your students to be viewing. Um, you could do presentations, you can do brochures, they have tons of templates. So it's a great teacher tool, but it's also a really fantastic student tool that unleashes their creativity and allows them to do lots of different things that they couldn't do in the past. And so they have recently come up with this integration with Canva and Schoology. It's pretty cool. So uh, we're going to look at some of the different things to get that set up, if that's something that you're interested in, um, to make it like a very streamlined process for yourself and for your students. So the first thing that you want to look for is here in Schoology. So I'm just in my sandbox here. Um, at the bottom left-hand corner, you should see right here this Canva for Education. If you don't see this icon, you are able to install this for yourself. So you can go over here to this miniature waffle and click the App Center. And then I would recommend, rather than scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, I recommend you hit Control F. That's going to pop up this little Find um, dialog box and put in Canva. That'll take you right to it. So then you're able to click on Canva for Education, install, and then I agree. Okay, so once you go through that process, then you'll have Canva. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go back into my um, sandbox here. So you now, if you didn't before, you now have this Canva for Education box. So you're halfway there. So now in order to get those two to, like, to talk to each other, we have to set that portion up. So you're going to go um, to this course options right here, and then you're going to go down to exter external tool providers. This actually is going to show you all of the different things that you have access to. These ones that are in black are ones that at the district level we have already pushed out for you. Um, but notice this blue Canva for education. I'm able to click on it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And this is what you're going to want to see. You're going to have a consumer key and you're going to have a shared secret. You're able to find this in your actual Canva account. So I'm going to go to my Canva account here. Um, this is just a, a, a different an account rather than my personal Canva account. Um, and so from here, you're going to go to this little settings cogwheel. So you're going to go down here to billing and teams. And it says right here, you have an education account um, and you have the opportunity to have an LMS integration. So that this by default is toggled off like this. So you would want to just turn it on. And this is where it's going to give you your consumer key and your shared secret. They make this really simple. All you have to do is hit copy and then go back into your Schoology and then hit paste. And then you would also copy that shared secret and hit paste and then submit. So that's what's going to have these two like talking to each other. You have to go through that step, otherwise it won't be fully complete. Once you've done that, now you have the integration. So now you get to do the fun stuff and you get to see all of the different things that it can do. I'm going to go back um, into my sandbox and just notice that now when I click on this Canva for Education, it's going to pop up a new window and it's going to show that my account is um, connected together um, because there it is. It popped right up. And so this will have all of your designs and different things that you are working on. I'm going to go ahead and get out of that because I don't need to be in there. And I'm going to go back up here to my breadcrumbs and go to ASC Instructional Technology. So this is where you're able to do some really cool things. Um, my, my favorite thing is that you can actually assign Canva designs now. Um, it's a little bit different than um, a, a traditional way of assigning, but you're still going to go through the process of going to add materials and then add assignment. Now this is where you're going to be able to embed that assignment. So I'm just going to make this a practice. I'm going to just name it Practice Canva. Now no, usually we have here assign from app, but Canva doesn't have that portion um, ready yet. So there's a different way that we can do it. We're going to go to this little called a share arrow because it's a square and an arrow. Um, click that and then you should notice down here on the on the right hand side is Canva for Education. I'm going to click on that. That's going to pop up my account that we were just looking at. So these are all of my designs. Let's say I wanted the students to work on this particular design. Right now it looks like it's not loading, but it, it is. It's just kind of loading in there. And so from here, I can see I have something there. From here, you're able to select your categories, your due dates, um, your point values, 
all those different things that you normally would do. And then when you're ready, go ahead and hit create. So this is going to be populating that assignment. Remember, an assignment means that each student's going to have a copy of this. Now, if I wanted just to embed something that I wanted the kids to look at, you probably noticed when I went here before, you can go to Canva for Education right here. Um, but that's just going to be a picture. That's nothing that they can edit. Um, not, it doesn't make a copy for them. It's really just something to display. So you probably won't have to go to this portion very often. If you're wanting to assign something, you're going to go to that assignment. So now I have this Practice Canva here. I'm just going to click on it so I can see. Okay, there it is. All right. And I can see um, based over here that I don't have any submissions yet. Now I want to show you what this looks like from the student perspective. So this has all been from the teacher perspective. Um, I'm going to go over here to course options, view course as, and then we've got Jim here. So I can see that I'm viewing as Jim. I have this set up in the elementary um, interface, so that's why this looks a little bit different from middle school and high school. It's the same thing though. Um, and I can immediately notice I have a camera for education box over here. Um, this is going to show uh, the exact same thing. This will be linked to their account. Um, obviously, I'm just viewing as, so it's connected to my account right now. But it's the same process that we had when we were the teacher and clicked on that same thing. But I really want to look at is back over here into my activities and going down here to our practice Canva. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I can see that here it is. So here's the Canva that I had embedded. And again, I'm in the elementary interface. So if I scroll down, I can see that these are the ways that I could submit something with this Canva. I could take a picture, I could record a video, record audio, upload something, or type. So this is just a normal assignment, um, but now it's it's embedded as a Canva, Canva design. So what will this look like when he actually does it? I'm gonna go ahead and go over here to, um, I'm logged in as Jim. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like um, when he actually is able to submit it. I'm going to go down here to this Practice Canva. I'm going to go back to Upload. It should look very familiar, just with the process we just went through. And then when I'm finished, I'm going to hit I'm done. And then that is going to submit. Okay, so that submitted his assignment, his Canva. Um, so let's take a look at what that, that looks like on the teacher side. I'm going to exit as Jim. And then I'm going to go back here. And it says, hey, look, it needs submission. Um, it needs graded. So uh, from here, it looks just like um, everything else that you've probably done um, with having students maybe upload files or different things like that. So this process is not any different. Looks like it's still working. I could take a, up to 10 minutes. We're not sitting here for 10 minutes, so I'm just going to X out of that. But we can see that he has um, submitted something and it is now available to be graded. Um, so this is just a really cool interface um, with Canva and with um, Schoology working together to give a, even more streamlined um, experience for our students. So walk through those steps in our Spectacular Gem. There's also um, a link for the configuration we were talking about earlier, like mapped out for you in written directions um, that Canva had created. So if that is a better way for you to get all that set up and just to kind of review those different processes, um, by all means, you can use that resource. But this is just a really cool interface, a really cool streamlined way to get our students um, engaging in even more creative opportunities.